right, get your pog champs ready, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the undefeated LGD Forever Young 10 and 0 to take on the solid 6 and 2 newbie. I think this Battle is, for supremacy. Yeah, this is going to be a test for for LFY, right? If they beat newbie here 2-0, then they're looking like they could finish the group stage in a perfect fashion. And this is I mean, finishing the group stage in, in, in perfect score is one of the rare rare feats. A Weaver Rubik duo. Which is pressuring him pretty hard early. Doesn't have they Orb get anymore. Lift off. KP might be giving up the first blood here. Pops the fairy fire. Salve. Salve's up as well. He's blown a lot of regen. And with that, orbing away to safety. Very heavy bullying. As they are going to rotate three on mid. They Dyer's wanted to send potentially an S triple C. DDC trying to maneuver into position. There is a dire ward here. They know DDC's it's here. out of this rotation. He might get caught anyway, though. But with the Prophet coming in, that's the plus one that I'm not sure Newbie was aware of. As Super has that early point in Stone Gaze. Corrals as Triple C gets the kill, turns on the Mana Shield to ensure his retreat simultaneously. Kaka's got a TP out. Newbie knew this was coming, but they just didn't bank on the NP plus one factor as Faith shrines up, but sticks around. Now trying oh. for the Ancient Deny, not gonna happen. A big win for LFY. That was huge, the fact that he activated his shrine and did nothing. And now this wave is gonna get denied as well. All right, this is bad news bears. They. I mean, they just, I think they just didn't realize that there was the NP plus one factor or weren't really considering it because yeah. they saw the Rubik there. They know the Night Stalker's been in their jungle. Like, there's nothing really mysterious about that gang. Bottom, they're going to make a go on KP here. He, does he have the orb? He will run up, but he's going to go down the bug, giving vision. Kaka is going to burrow strike tower. Shouldn't be enough to kill Afu. All of a sudden, after a slow start, LFY gets three kills, forces out multiple teleport scrolls. Extra economic damage for him. Against the team is Kaka gets clipped by the swarm here. Monet's on the chase, and it looks like they do want to pursue. KP, however, in position, potentially they're trying to kill off that wow. pesky bug. The auto techs are really hitting him hard. Now the coil under tower. I believe he does have the time lapse up though, Ooh. and he will just zip away mid burrow strike, unafraid. Mayo Knight is not an RNG god, at least not yet. Only got the one illusion, but. Trying to move in, Afu to get the minus armor. Perhaps he's overextending. TK is a tanky hero, but he gets silenced. He gets controlled. It might be daytime, but this Night Stalker don't care. LFY. Clean him up. Potential for the Night Stalker to rotate in, as it is. Uh, I imagine we'll see that point in darkness relatively soon, and the next night time is coming, but there has been a smoke rotation. LFY descending on Moogie. They sprout him up. He tries to pull him out, but they lock him down with the lift, pulling him back. He gets off the stun here. It's only the two second one, and Monet joins the party with the double damage run on Super. They chew through. There is not a spear breaker running at you, or it's not, you know, those kind of crazy type it's of heroes. It's a deceptive type of. It, it's more the fact that LFY is just being at the right place with the right numbers. They're, you know? they're pushing in on Faith now, want to finish him off. They have the damage, they get the kill. Another pick. The power of that early Blightstone. Coming soon. Right, it, they're, they're not like. The Weaver's building Lincolns. He's not trying to go for some big damage oh, they, item. They even go for Kaka. They've got Dust ready. Inflame is on point. The team firing on all cylinders as they're going to force him back. But here comes the rotation from KP. They go for the Sprout play. Still diving him. That minus armor is substantial. Oh, the heal though. Quite enough. And now Faith looks for the turret. The Casca bouncing. He will end up going down while that was happening, though. Dire Courier will bite the dust. So a small sacrifice here. Monet. At the altar. Faith. Sunstrike coming in, but Monet stands his ground. He's able to time lapse it off, and now Kitsukuchi forward in just a moment. He can look for the Sanki kill. Kaka almost dead. One more auto attack secures the kill, and S Triple C needs to answer back. But Super is there and very tanky. Looks like the Weaver has the TP. He'll make it out, but they do sacrifice their Medusa. Pretty high price to pay. Two beefy cores I think down. When you go Quaswex, it's more of a team decision, right? If you go Quaswex, the whole team needs to fight with you. And with heroes like Puck and Sign King, yes, they can fight early, but they're not fighting now because they need the play. Meanwhile, in the river, somebody's fighting. It's going to be Invoker going in. Bad time for KP to die, though. He's close to the blink. He gets the Night Stalker, but he will end up going down. Actually, still has most of his gold, so I guess it was largely all reliable. As Kaka will go down to the Mystic Seeds. Now the Stone Gaze forcing Newbie away. You know, a lot of people view Medusa as a hero that just needs to farm all game, but Super demonstrating that Medusa can take the fights early and be a big force. Yep. So, that first movement with the KP blink comes up empty. I don't know whether they saw whether he had the blink or not yet. The Night Stalker is coming in too. It is pretty like late in the game for a puck not you to You expect it to, to have it at this time, yeah. 
Kaka getting clipped here by the Swarm, now lifted back, and with that, the Sandstorm stolen. Hoping the Burrow Strike would be used as he cast it, but nonetheless, a kill again. Running through these newbie backlines and cleaning up support heroes. Yep, that's two kills. When is newbie gonna fight? And Darkness gets activated on the other side. You're, You're like, like, oh shit. Yeah, like, they just have vision on me. It's like, I gotta, gotta run, and then they just get picked off because LFY are more mobile with a global TP. Moogie comes in. Okay, he pops the ultimate, and he's going for the kill. Where do you go, Rubik? Moogie's gonna pour it out. There's no way to cancel his TP because Rubik is dead. All right. Suspect something. Radiant that smoke is about to end. The creep wave is coming. Dives Radiant into the trees. He's gonna hide. He jukes them out. He baits them. And now they look for the turn. The Weaver's on the hunt, and he does have the Lakeid Spear, so he's really not the hero you want to initiate on. Medusa coming in as well. Radiant drops the snake. The tower down to SCCC. So the objective's there. Now they just want to escape. Coil deployed defensively. Orbing back to safety. Moving on lift. the high ground. Lift. They have the lift. Yes, sir. E. DDC gets pushed up by the Hurricane Pike of Super. That's teamwork, folks. And now they'll find the Chaos Knight. They'll take Kaka as well. He on the, the right side. Lane, they're Afu. also diving Faith. Afu just munching down on that tasty witch doctor. A vampire's dream. He'll claim the third kill of the fight. Continuing to chip away at this tier three mid. LFY already looking to try and put an end to this game. They'll cap it off with their 11th victory. Not quite there yet, but certainly on the uh -oh. warpath as the Rubik Spellsteel comes out. Double EMPs, potentially. If th those ganks do start to connect, uh, Newbie can make a comeback, but blinks in, lifts them up after the sentry. Kaka trying to burrow out, but the last long-range right-click of Monet will take him down. Monet is unafraid, now purging up Moogie, going straight for a big kill. He commits on the Chaos Knight. Won't be able to finish him off, but definitely feeling confident. See KP just continuing bottom lane to cut these waves, constantly trying to slow down. Turning through them. And they're all difficult to execute smokes because the lanes are pushing the deep ward. Oh, he misses it, coil. But they still try to make their move nonetheless. The lift comes in, interrupting this chain of initiation, and now the turn with the swarm there. Newbie are on the run. Faith wants to TP up. Looks like he should make it. Not so lucky, perhaps, is Kaka, but with that cask of bouncing, and our forces of stone gaze that will ultimately net them the Kaka kill. Two down, coil expended. Yeah, they're not even close to killing any of these guys. Yeah, the Coil did miss, but I think if the Coil hit on Monet, he still would have been fine. His team was there. Now Purge going on SC. He's going to go Invis and away. EMP Tornado did hit on Super, but there is that one pair of Arcane Boots to choose him up. And they just don't care. They're, they're going to just run over this tier 3 and perhaps even the Rax. Blinkson, lift the Witch Doctor, and that should be another easy freebie. Okay, Burrow Strike. Pretty decent. Picks up a Rubik kill. Looking for more potential. Still working on the racks though. Melee starting to drop. Monet, commitment here from him. The deuce is low in mana. With the CMP, it's going to be almost completely gone. Now they burrow her. They can try to focus her down. Super with the Hurricane Pike pushback. He keeps himself away from the Epicenter. Stays alive, all the while focusing on objectives on the racks, but he is going to forfeit his life in doing so. And the melee's not dead yet. Okay. And rare overextension. Wow. Why get cocky again? And this time, a huge punish. They haven't finished the oh. racks. It's down to barely an HP. I mean, I hate to, wow. to make it sound hopeless, but it should be hopeless if LFY play this right. I think this is actually a complete trump card. Well, we've seen... But never say never knows. Yeah, we've seen the impossible has happened before. EMP Tornado will start things off. Medusa will eat it. It's a good start, getting rid of most of her mana. Now jumping in on the Weaver. They ideally want to kill someone off once, not commit too much, and then in round two, really go for the big plays. But Monet quickly BKBs, eyes on the prize, trying to focus down that melee Rex, but then turning back for heroes. Who will they get? They take down S Triple C, instant buyback from him. It's all in on this fight. The Stone Gate comes through, locking Nubian position, pummeling Monet, forcing him on his heels. The epicenter just tickles. Kaka next on the list. Melee Rex down. Faith getting battered as Monet continues to lay into him. Finally, the Aegis pop, but it's a triple for the Weaver. The bug that could. And now looking for more. S Triple C, die back on the horizon, has to get back to safety. Lobs out the Sunstrike. Oh, oh. Will barely survive. The Rubik was fishing for him. But still, the racks are down. His own Sunstrike also just whiffing. Being rapidly brought down. S Triple C, remember, no buyback for him. Does have to mind his positioning as DDC lunges in, gets the lift, gets the pullback, forces him away. Inflame comes in with the BKB Orchid. A head full of steam, wanting to corral him. He's gonna 
uh, at least initially. Locked on Faith, commits for this. The BKB does the trick. Down goes the Witch Doctor. No buyback for 30. In comes the Sand King, but to what end? Will he have the follow-up damage? There's an Epicenter ready. He's not even bothering. S Triple C trying to take the man fight. That's not one that a shitty wizard can win. Down he goes too. And GG the call. LFY, an unblemished 11-0. An ultra kill for Monet, just the cherry on top. A game where you look, it's not the draft. It's just purely the execution, and they out-executed the bejesus out of Newbie. It, the game was not close.